All right, today I'm going to show you how to uh, service a Polaris Ranger 700. It's gonna be real similar to the 800 and the 900 models, so you can use this video on those. First thing we're gonna do is drain the engine oil. You're gonna pull the seat off, lift up in the center, and that seat will just pop right out of the two grommets on either side of the frame there. And you've got your engine directly underneath this seat here. I like to go ahead and pull this dipstick. Uh, this is assuming that we've already ran this Ranger for a couple minutes already, just to warm this engine oil up, helps it to flow out easier, kind of picks up the debris from the bottom and pushes that out when you're changing the oil. Next thing I like to do is pull this storage case here. You just lift up on that storage box and that'll pull right out. That'll allow you to get down there and um, see your engine oil filter a little bit easier. Um, crawling underneath of the Ranger here, I'm on the, on the driver's side. This would be the left-hand side. Crawl underneath and you've got your skid plate underneath here. You don't have to pull your skid plate. You will drain oil all over your skid plate uh, from your oil filter if you don't. So there's your Allen bolt for changing your engine oil. That I believe is an eight millimeter Allen. And you pull that drain plug, let it, let it drip for quite a while, let it run out. Um, and then at the same time, you can get to your engine oil filter, uh, which is right in front of your belt cover. So you can kind of see that back in there. It's a little dark, um, but you've got your engine oil filter back there and you can go ahead and pull that and replace that at the same time. While your engine oil is draining, you want to make sure that you um, check that O-ring, make sure that O-ring is off of the engine on your old one, then make sure your new one has that O-ring. That way it seals properly. Once that engine oil is drained, go ahead and put that drain bolt back in. Assuming that your oil filter is already on, you can pull this dipstick all the way out and use a small funnel, fit down into that fill hole there, and put about two quarts in, maybe a little bit less. I like to put my dipstick in then, let it run for a couple minutes, and then um, pull your dipstick out, clean it off, check your oil, and then uh, add oil if needed. You've got your two spark plugs here, uh, one on this side, one on the other side of your intake manifold there. Those need to re be replaced every time you change your engine oil. It um, helps it run better that way. Again, your belt cover is here. If you need to replace that belt, go ahead and pull all those 3 8 bolts around that belt cover and your belt will be underneath there. Check my other videos on how to replace that. Moving on to the front differential now. We've got the front differential and it's a common problem on these. And uh, check my other videos on how to replace this front differential the easiest way possible. But we do have the same thing, six millimeter or eight millimeter drain bolts on this. And then we've got your fill bolt um, back under there is your fill mark. So what I like to use on my oil is uh, on, our, on our one quart jug so you can get a cap with a hose coming out of it. That allows you just to get, put the entire uh, quart of oil right here, run that hose back there and uh, fill that up. When you get to your fill cap there, when oil starts running back out your fill cap there, you know you're full. Put your cap back in there and you are all set. Make sure that engine or that front differential oil is ran out completely before you do that. That oil is a uh, demand uh, drive hub oil for that uh, front end. While we're up front here, your coolant is underneath the hood here. The lever is directly below the Polaris there. And sometimes they do get stuck, but you can pull this here, your battery's underneath here, fuse box here, and your engine coolant is right here. Make sure, obviously, don't change this when it's hot, don't pull this cap when it's hot, um, but that is where you fill there, and then you've got your overflow over here. You've got a high and low on your uh, overflow, so make sure that is in the position that it needs to be. Uh, you can run your uh, Ranger with that radiator cap off, and I like to do that just to suck as much coolant through there uh, while you're while you're first if you've drained your coolant do that and then you've got a uh, a uh, um, a cap on your engine and I'll show you that in a separate video of how you uh, get the air out of your system when you're first putting coolant in the machine again after you've drained it going on to the transmission oil now we're on the right hand side of the Ranger this would be the passenger side and you've got your transmission underneath here Underneath of the transmission is a another eight millimeter drain plug. So there's another one there, and there's really no way 
to warm that up unless you take this machine out and drive it. So if you, you, you're, you can do that, just make sure your other oils are, oils are full uh, before you go out and take it for a spin. So that is your drain, go ahead and drain that. And then your fill mark is right behind your shifter there and you might have to reposition your shifter and to a spot where you can get to that eight millimeter fill cap there. And same thing when it gets to that point, that cap there, uh, then you are full and you don't need to add any more. Going up a little bit from your transmission is your air filter and it's got two caps or two uh, latches here and you just flip those, oh, that came completely off. So just pull those two, two latches there. No, don't pull it apart like I did, um, but you've got one on the bottom side as well. Pull this out, put your new air filter back in there and um, you wanna make sure you do that. At least check it every time you change your oil on this machine. Now our rear differential here, it's easiest if you shut your box. And some models have the uh, transmission and the rear differential all in one housing. This does not, it's got a separate uh, differential. So underneath here, same thing. Oh, you know what, this one's a little bit different. We've got a uh, 13 millimeter bolt coming in from the right side and it's gonna be very, very difficult to see where that bolt is, uh, but it's directly right underneath the axle on the right side of that differential. And you can get to that best from the little hole underneath of your differential. And it is a challenge. You just take it one tooth at a time uh, for spinning that out and it does take a little bit. Your fill mark is right here and that is just a larger cap. Looks like that. And go ahead and fill that up. Same thing to the bottom of your fill cap and then you know that it's full. When you're Changing engine oil, make sure you inspect all your CV boots. Make sure there's no rips or tears in those. If there is, make sure you get those taken care of immediately. Otherwise, you'll be replacing your joints. That is a full service on a Polaris Ranger 700. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, if you've got comments or want me to show other videos, uh, let me know those in the comments below. Please subscribe and like my channel if it's been helpful. Thanks a lot.